banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Featuring everybody's favorite wisecracking pizza eating turtles who never age. Shouldn't they be all grown up by now? They're still teenagers. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You know, I enjoyed them way back in the 80s when I was in grade school and never, never would have imagined this series would still be going strong today. But it is. Everybody loves pizza eating ninja turtles. Even the video game industry. There's been many Turtles games, including this one, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Annoyingly, the entire game is very dark, so actually it kind of stayed in the shadows. Turtle power, heroes in a half shell, kicking the crap out of enemies with button mashing. Or if you're more ambitious, fancy button combinations and finishing moves. But I just like button mashing. You can play as all four turtles, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Luigi. Out of the shadows. Michelangelo has the day off. There's a campaign mode where April gets kidnapped and you have to fight pretty much every turtle's bad guy ever to save her. And an arcade mode where you can grab a friend and Play levels like the old Turtles arcade game. You unlock the levels in the storyline mode and go back and play them. This is actually a really nice feature. In some ways, I think it's better than the game itself. It reminds me a lot of the combat in Sleeping Dogs, where it's timing heavy and you can counter, but without that simple pleasure of running people into ventilation fans and fun things like that and slamming doors on them. Because, you know, the turtles will use things like swords, but they wouldn't electrocute enemies because that might be dangerous. I like that you can choose between one of the four turtles on the fly, including Luigi, who's dressed as one of the turtles, but really it's Luigi. And the game's not bad for a downloadable action game, but it's also not great. It's not great because of a few things really holding it back. For starters, it's just too damn dark. Like, I get it, the turtles are from the sewers, but, you know, the title's out of the shadows, so bring the game out of the shadows. Also, I couldn't find any option to flip the Y-axis on my controller. I always play with inverted controls. And it was either hidden really well so that I couldn't find it or it just wasn't there. I mean, something so simple should be there. Third, it's a bit jerky. And fourth, number four, like the four turtles, it's also a bit buggy. I ran into some weird errors in this game, like the one time we were playing on top of the train two-player and fell off into a pit and we're playing in, like, the way background of the game that didn't even exist. Kind of strange. Also, a number of the guys around the Intergalactic Space Arcade commented on the bizarre modeling of the turtles, and their nostrils in particular. The speed up and slow down aspect of the fighting is also a bit distracting. I feel like they just simply overdid it in this game. It gets in the way of the actual gameplay. But it's also not awful. It's kind of nice to see the turtles whoop up on bad guys like this. And it gives you a chance to counter and pull off some special moves. So in conclusion, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows is like a cold slice of pizza. It's not awful, it's, it's totally edible, but depending on how hungry you are, you could also do better. There's a lot of upgrade options, some pretty cool moves, and it definitely has its moments. We're watching the Xbox 360 version, this is also on PC, and PlayStation 3 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We're just gonna stay in the shadows anyway.